One of the legacies uh, here at Ruby's Inn, and uh, if you look at some of the old historic photographs, was uh, entertainment. If you go into our restaurant, there's historic photos in there of the cowboys sitting around playing their guitars and entertaining the guests as they came in. And, uh, and one of the things that tourists stressed was there was a, a dance floor up there, a dance pavilion that they used to dance at at night, and, and that was their entertainment. And uh, we've always tried to embrace that as part of our culture. And in 2009, when we opened up the Bryce Canyon brand and uh, trying to get back to our roots, we opened up Ebenezer's Barn and Grill. And we have a great uh, partner in the Bar G Wranglers who comes in and they bring that history full circle. So coming up on our 100 year anniversary, we have that culture, that nightly culture where people can come in, get that cowboy entertainment, enjoy, you know, what it must have been like back in the early days of Ruby's in here. You don't hear Western music on the radio anymore. And my dad was so uh, involved in it ever since I can remember, from three years old on, I, I can remember. So all of us here have a love for Western music and we don't want to see it go away. It's nice to you know meet the people as they come in. We get a lot of people from different countries here. There's, there's so many people you get to meet. There's so many things that uh, go on every night that are different from the night before. So it never really gets boring. It's a lot of fun. It is just getting to know a lot of people from all over the world and getting to preserve Western music in this art form. And you have a real camaraderie among the people here and that's what we try to do as Wranglers. You're giving the music and they give back the appreciation and it just becomes this uh, amazing force that reaches critical mass and <laughs> brings a lot of joy and happiness to this old farm. <laughs>